Camille Shires, Youth and Family Program Director here at the Center for Spiritual Living in Seattle. We do our youth programs here in person at 11 o'clock on Sundays, but if you're not in the Seattle area or can't get here, I'm glad that you found these online lessons. We are doing Eight Secrets to Happiness using the Golden Thread of Truth curriculum. And this is lesson number seven, Fear Not. When we seek approval of others, we're moving away from our dharma, our purpose. Only you know what is truly easy and carefree for you. What comes easily without resistance? We've all had times where people have asked us to do something that's contrary to our nature. Say, for example, friends wanting you to join the drill team when you're not really that fond of performing in public and doing things in large groups like that. You know what is right for you and you may feel judged, but that is their issue, not yours. Your wisest friends and families, they're gonna be the ones supporting you in your happiness. There's a story about judgment called People in Glass Houses Shouldn't Throw Stones. And it's about this family that buys this house at the top of the hill, right smack dab in the middle of a town. And it's made all from glass. Well, the family would sit in their house all day, looking around town and judging the villagers. Like the boy in the family sees a boy in town spit and says, ooh, that's disgusting. And the daughter of the family sees an older girl flirting with the boys and goes, ew. The mom sees a mother with a crying baby and she's not consoling it and thinks, oh, why isn't she doing anything? And the dad sees a merchant with a very messy and dirty storefront and thinks, why isn't he cleaning it up? Well, the family forgot that even though they can see out, everyone else could see in. Well, the villagers, they saw the girl just sitting around doing nothing. The boy didn't have any friends. The mom had a messy kitchen. The dad was just judging and commenting. So the villagers, they decided enough is enough. And they went up to the house and knocked on the door and said, if you want to judge, then remember that you will be judged. So why would the family be judgmental? Well, they didn't really have anything in their life that they loved or felt connected to. They didn't have a purpose. They didn't have their dharma. In Science of Mind, we teach cause and effect. So if you're judging, loving, all of those things can come back and attract more of it in your life. So a way to remember about being judgmental with your children is if they like to do crafts, have them draw pictures of people. They don't have to be real big because you're going to cut them out and you're going to put them in a glass jar. You can leave that out on the kitchen counter, the dining room table, somewhere they can see it and remember the story about the family judging those around them and being judged themselves. With um, photo albums, that's always a good one, where you can look through old family photo albums with your children and see what was really cool back in the day and how now it seems rather silly. So when we think about ourselves and think about those around us, just remember that current trends come and go. So celebrate your uniqueness and celebrate the uniqueness of others. Feel that unity with those around us.